welcome aboard. We are American Airlines Flight 2364. Now with service to Los Angeles. You're not sitting near yeah. anyone, right? Yes, actually, the, air, the plane is pretty cold. What? Why? I don't know. But it's okay. Everybody is wearing masks. I thought they're not supposed to have you guys sit so close to other people. I don't know. Don't worry. Okay. Be fine. I'll see you soon. Bye. See you. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. That just scares the shit out of me. There's literally people sitting so close to them and apparently they weren't gonna like have people sit. Like I saw a person sitting right next to my mom and they're supposed to have spaced out seating. It's just so upsetting and like. <sighs> <laughs> So I wore a very special outfit to go pick up mom and dad. <laughs> He's gonna freak out. He hasn't seen me pregnant. So, um, dad, I thought I'd put this crop top so that you can see my belly. Holy crap, I look big. It was such a relief to finally have my parents flying out here and have the opportunity to just share some time together and have them stay out here for a while. And um, I was just excited to show my dad my belly. We're gonna go pick up my parents from the airport. This is the first time that they're gonna see you pregnant. I know, I'm gonna wear something really tight. Your dad's gonna faint. Just pull up here and then we can actually get out because I want to walk to them. Sure, I was definitely concerned flying my parents all the way out to LA in the middle of a pandemic. Did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I'm relieved. But I just wanted them out here and we had a bunch of things coming up and I wanted them to experience it with us. Like the gender reveal. Oh my God which was so amazing. I honestly couldn't have asked for a better day. <laughs> and we were also moving into a new house, which was a lot. I'm so happy that my parents could help us out. My mom said you put the chin up bar too high, she can't even reach it. Everything for you. I could just get her a little stool. And then finally, the baby shower, which I had a few ideas about. I want like flowers and balloons and stuff. What about like baby Coachella vibe? Everything in cute clothes. Like a goat yoga station. So there's this acai bowl guy. Jars in their sand and it's like a dessert or something. <laughs> Sound bath, astrologist, blow up dolls, baby yoga, succulents and shit. There's a person that you take a photo and you can see your aura. What did I just get excited about? Oh, sound bath. We just have to find who does goat yoga and just ask if they can bring two goats. Uh, see you guys. Hopefully it turns out how we have it planned. All right guys, today is the day of the baby shower. We are starting all the setups. The day of the baby shower, there was so much to do. Today's a great day. We're gonna bring in. Great day for a shower. <laughs> Need one. I just took one, as yeah. you can see. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go inside. Look at this little setup that's happening here. I had a lot of help, but not everything went according to plan. All right, so walk me through what you want to do again. <laughs> I want yoga clothes on the bears for the baby shower. It's a cute idea. I just hope it works. This bear is not a 32. And she wants to put these shorts on this bear and she thinks it's gonna look good. The shorts are on his foot, it looks like a sock. I was really pressed on these yogi bears because I had Pinterest boards and all this plan for a freaking bears being everywhere and it being like a main thing in the baby shower. And then once we got the clothing for the bear, <laughs> it was not at all what I had dreamed up of. And then he's gonna be in a yoga pose. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Warrior. <laughs> Downward go. Downward bear. What did the shorts look like on the bears? The shorts literally looked like he was wearing um, a Speedo. It didn't look like yoga, that's all I can say. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey there. Uh -huh. I don't know, there's about 
I was so happy with the turnout. All of our friends came to celebrate our little baby, which we decided to name Nova. We did some research and that name just stuck with us. How do you feel? Pure excitement, pure yeah. joy. I can't wait for play dates. I just want to see how beautiful she's going to be. Can't wait to see baby Nova. It's very exciting. I'm excited Fair, for that. Right? It's like a new chapter. They're both awesome people. They deserve the best and I can't wait to be a good uncle. And I'm so happy that my mom, my dad, Matthew's mom and his sister were all able to come celebrate. It was just super important for him and I. I'm so excited. I can't wait to be an aunt again. It'll be a new experience for everyone here. <laughs> I'm gonna be grandma finally. Yeah. You only get one first baby shower and I wanted to make sure that it was memorable for all of us. <laughs> I don't even, I can't even go down. <laughs> and, um, I feel like my dad definitely helped make that happen. He had a little surprise for Matthew. Let's go and see uh, Mr. Big Guy, Matt. We brought something for, uh, for him, and that's uh, from all my family, Sharkis family. Okay, let's go and see him. So this is from you to me? To be nice with my daughter. It's not gonna pop out at me, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. no way. Yo, check this out. Would you help me? I can help you whatever you want, but you can put it whatever you want here. During the past few months that my parents were here, I feel like it gave Matt and my dad a great chance to bond. Lace me up. I'm shining, I'm shining. Which was a huge step forward from when we first told them the news about the pregnancy. I, I do see myself with your daughter the rest of my life, and I want to be with her, I want to provide for her, I want to protect her, I want to take care of her. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm not agree with what you talk about. So for my dad to want to give Matt this gift, and actually went out of his way, because I didn't even know about the gift. Check me out, check me out. It really meant a lot to me, and especially to Matt, I feel like it made him so happy. We couldn't have done this without I'm here you. all the time, but it don't cry. Yeah. <laughs> it is now time for the sound bath. I changed it to my aloe workout gear. As the day was coming to an end, I wanted everyone to just come together and just wind down and relax to a nice, I thought that a sound bath would be a great opportunity for everyone to just wind down, relax. I love them. My dad actually chose not to be part of it though because he would probably fall asleep and we would have heard him snoring. So <laughs> we did it without him. It was just such a beautiful night. The sounds that she used were awesome. It was the perfect ending to a perfect day. Welcome to the nursery. This is what we're working with. Bunch of boxes and stuff. Now that the baby shower's over, I was so excited to get started on the nursery. She was due in like less than a month and there were still boxes everywhere. I feel really hard to move in and keep these all closed off, but I wanted to do the nursery and everything all at once. I just really wanted to open all the gifts. I had them up there for way too long and it was driving me crazy. I just wanted to get in them and rip them open and finally set them up. I don't have no idea what's in any of these. Oh, ooh, little baby bottles. They're so cute. This is a starter set. So there's a nipple brush. It's the glue. They use it for the beach and you put the baby in them. We have this bazinet. Oh my gosh, it's such a nice color. This is real. Look, it comes with sheets and a little mattress. This is a nursing pillow. That goes in your bedroom. Oh, I have a perfect car seat. Oh my gosh, this the material is so, so soft. So this yeah. is a infant snug seat. Infant snug seat. <laughs> infant snug seat. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Is this smooth riding? Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look, you put the baby in the little dock. Look. Oh, it's so cute! Babe, look, this is for when it rains. I think these are both the same things. We're literally learning as we go. While we were opening up all these awesome baby gifts, I realized that 
we don't know how to use half of them and I had to do a lot of researching. There, there you go. We also didn't even know how to take care of a baby yet. So you guys are gonna learn with us, I guess. This is for newborns. You're only gonna put her in the bassinet for the first, probably, couple months? No, no but she's gonna be in here until she's at least a year and a half. <laughs> no! No! This is for when probably... When she's a little older, like yeah. two. No! That is for two or three. This is for like three year olds. Okay, but whatever. I don't think you're right, but anyway. Okay, let's look it up. How cute does that look here? In our bedroom, I just finished day one. The next part is the crib and the dresser and that's gonna bring the nursery together. I think I'm gonna call it a night because I need to sit down. Okay, the crib has arrived and the nursery. So. The second day of building the nursery was all about the main furniture and the main things the necessities that we needed. It's the crib or the dresser. All right, I'm just gonna hold the box for you. Where's it going, on this wall? Yeah. Oh, what's this? It's this a changing is, table. This is a changing table. Gotta be, yeah. right? Yeah, so this, we can take it out and put it on top of the dresser. All right, we're slowly getting there. This is great, so much fun. The most important yet hardest thing to put together was the crib, super important if you want your baby to sleep somewhere. Okay, so this is the crib part. This is the mattress. What's going on? Thankfully, my dad arrived at a perfect time because with the crib, we definitely needed his help. Wait, where's the instruction manual? Where's the button? So we can't, we lost the instruction manual. Look, instruction manuals for people like us that misplace things. Put the legs and the little thingies times four, and then you turn it over and screw it. So we have to secure the frame first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got it. I decided to jump right in with my dad and try our best to put it together. I like building stuff. A lot of people don't know that about me, but I used to build a lot of my furniture when I would get it. But if it's like an easy assembly, I like doing that. You wanna make sure which one, Bubba? I know which one. Okay, oh, take a look at this. I know. Nine which one. months pregnant. She's building a nursery. I gotta build my baby a crib, man. But also, I just wanted to make sure it was put together safely and that it didn't collapse once she was put in there. So. I had to do my due diligence as a mother and just do it myself with my dad helping me as my little sous chef. You guys are doing great. It's all the same size. The mattress. I want to sleep in here. I think we did a good job. It's still standing today. <laughs> okay, now that we have set up most of the furniture. We're gonna start opening, ow. We're gonna start opening some of our baby shower gifts. We have this, which is the Birch Shelf. It's from Pottery Barn, Nicole and Courtney. Thank you guys so much for this. Yes, thank I you. I love it. It's so cute. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, it's the Scanzi Llama. This is from Lele. Thanks, Lele, look. Oh my gosh, she's so soft. I love it. Here's the wallpaper. This is from Pottery Barn. I chose it. Kids. My mother purchased it for us as yes. a gift for the baby shower. Thank um, you, Mimi. Do we have to start? Oh my gosh. Babe, start come from on. Left. You're tearing up my wallpaper. Oopsies. Do we have to start from the left side? Yeah, we're going to start from the left side. This is harder than it looks. This is going to take forever. The shirt has come off back here. Do you have to have these muscles to put wallpaper up? No. You well, know like, what you have to have? What? Patience. Okay, good morning. We are almost done with the wallpaper. One more and a half piece. Can I it in the corner? How about that? I'm a wallpaper's man. Nursery's coming together. Look at this. The snoo. I just built it. Which I heard is like a lifesaver. 
We got the nice recliner. Sleep sheep. It's a sleep sheep. I don't think it's supposed to be inside because like she can like play with it, but she's, she's gonna We'll figure it out. The last thing left is this awesome shelf so we can put books and like all her cute little things. With? Yep. This is like day five, I think, of building the nursery. It's a lot more work than I thought, but it is coming together so beautifully. I'm so excited to finally bring my little one in here. So we have to put the crib sheets and like the little changing table, and we will be complete. Oh, I'm so excited. Can you say something to my camera? What do you want me to say, Mom? Don't start, please. You're... Is this washed? Yeah. We're counting the days now. So tell me how do you feel? What are your concerns Mom, no, don't start and doing worries that. and and what is in your mind right now? Putting this padding on. Now that the wallpaper is up and all the furniture was in place, all we had left was some final touches and make sure the room was nice and safe and cute and up to my liking. And the baby's liking, which is my liking. What are you doing? Putting the crib bumper so she doesn't hit her head <laughs> when she's sleeping. And then dad's hanging the swing. There's no stud there. Oh. Babe! <laughs> Babe! <laughs> Grandpa is in trouble. Dad made a hole in the ceiling again. Grandpa is in trouble. Was there's no stud. You put the hole and there's no stud. There isn't one there? No! Matthew, 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 listen, listen. Don't do that. Don't, don't, excuse me. Start from here to go. Um, don't listen um, to him because he clearly couldn't find it. You're obviously not careful. How did you not find the stud? This is individual. It's not going to the stud. Maybe the stud is deeper. Please. I'm going to get out of here before I get <laughs> upset. <sighs> Why did I get this swing? I don't know, people. Why did we get this way? I don't know. After a lot of sweat and tears and hours put into the nursery, we were finally done and it looked amazing. Seeing everything finally put together, it honestly made me want to cry. I was just so excited to finally fill her room with her. So I just wanted to give birth at that point. <laughs> I just want to give a special, special thank you to all the companies that sent us such awesome gifts for the nursery. It truly made everything come together so perfectly and it's like the nursery of my dreams. And it's such a good thing that we got it together when we did because Nova was about to.